So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the uh, JCR event handler. Right here, we can see that unfortunately, it seems that the only way to make this work is to call login administrative. I know this is um, a deprecated line of code. However, the new way of using a system user and sling mapping does not seem to work. I've tested that on 6.4 and the event's not firing. So let's proceed in this video with this line of code. What we're doing is that we're gonna be uh, targeting on, um, this path in the JCR apps example. And then the event is going to be whenever we add a node as specified here. So we're going to, uh, let's compile this and then we'll deploy it. So now we'll deploy this, we'll replace this, update the uh, OSGI bundle. Put it into active state. Go back to JCR, let's add a new um, folder under example. So under example, we're gonna put an install folder. Now what we want to do is we will search the log. We will um, search it for this data type. So open up our log file. There, here we have it. We can see here's the event handler. It's written this line to the um, log file. Something has been added and it says um, apps example install. So this shows that the event handler is working as expected. Thank you. One important thing to note about this example, because we're using this line of code, we've got to whitelist the bundle. And to do that, we're going to go into OSGI configuration and then we're going to search for, for white. So you, you can see um, we've got configurations already set up. So I'll open up this. So the name is, um, I'm just using an arbitrary name, upload. So upload a configuration. And then here's the important part, um, event 64. So this is the symbolic bundle name of the OS Drive bundle that contains the JCR event handler. So this has to be configured in order for the example to work.